subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech View Snup and today we are doing another Windows 10 How To. Now this is Windows 10 in the beta form and it will fully be out within J July 29th which is about a month or two away. So today we're going to cover how to get to the advanced restart. In Windows 8 they introduced what's called advanced restart basically this allows you to troubleshoot your entire system and it allows you to go to a advanced boot so normally back in the day what would end up happening is when you first cranked up a computer you had to hit a certain key some computers access some it's f10 some it's f12 but you have to hit that over and over and over and hope that the boot screen will come up you can actually trigger that to come up automatically through the advanced restart. And also you can do a couple other things like reset the entire system and do a couple other things. So as far as that goes, I will explain a little bit more as we go through this. So let's jump through this. Go to start. And then what you want to do is go to the um, settings. And then go to settings as I said and you want to go to update and security and then from here you want to go to recovery and you'll have a few options I'm not really sure if this middle one will be there on the full version but I've heard from Microsoft that they want either Windows 10 or the following operating system which would be just called Windows if that happens to be the last Windows installment. There will be updates, support, and all that stuff, but instead of going from 7, 8, 10, so on and so on, they just want it in it because the competition's doing the same and they're doing free updates. So instead of doing a massive overhaul, they just want to end that little cycle and just do support for it. Which a lot of people agree with it's time and it's been perfected enough and and what's probably going to happen is you can choose your features hopefully so with this uh, I think this may stay in here the middle but it's hard to tell and that's basically if something's wrong with the current build then you can revert back that would make sense again if you're in one of the states where they uh, in windows from there on out and you got hardware on there and the uh, current build and up upgrading it and it doesn't work that well you can revert it back now I have a slight doubt that they will add this so ignore that if that's the case reset and and, and keep in mind this is in beta so that's the reason why uh, beta is obviously stuff is wrong once in a while so reset this PC that basically resets the PC to a certain point and that, that allows it to work well. We're going to get deeper into that and I'll show you the options with that in a bit. But let's go to the events start and keep in mind before you click that to save everything and to make sure everything's okay because it will restart the system. Now, from here, what we need to do is go through the as before in Windows 8, pick one of the options. Continue basically continues the restart and restarts it back in Windows 10. Turn off, turns off the computer, so it's like a shut off button. Troubleshoot is where we need to go. And we can reset this PC. I'll be back to that. Let's go to advanced options. Advanced options allow you to do a few things. So, for example, we can change some startup stuff by instead of doing that, clicking a certain button whenever the computer starts and get into the bio uh, BIOS or the startup list, we can actually trigger it from here. 
from here we can revert back but that might not be there on the final version startup repair which basically repairs the stuff and um, I didn't mean to click that but basically it does this where it repairs the uh, stuff now this is actually a useful feature because what happens is it looks at the um, what's there it diagnoses the PC it looks at what's there and see what's missing this is a feature that's been in Linux for a while and um, I, I don't think it's in Mac it might might be in Mac but basically if something's missing then um, then and it couldn't repair it because we're in a virtual machine but uh, let's go back to the events and basically what happens is it looks for the um, what's what's causing problems when it's loading system image actually looks it has a image of windows 10 unaltered and it looks at the difference and uh, basically it says oh this is different let me add that back in or change that keep in mind this can delete quite a few things so keep that in mind system restore is just a restore of a backup and um, I, I advise you to do that to have restore points reset this PC it uh, allows you to do two of options and uh, by the way before I forget there was an option for um, for Windows 8 to refresh the PC and it done the same thing or similar thing to the keep my files though but basically keep my files what it does is it removes all the applications a lot of the programs not all the programs um, this one might remove all the programs but it keeps the quote-unquote personal files basically if it's in the documents folder the my pictures my video music i think downloads i'm not really sure about that and a few other things it'll keep those but if it's anywhere else it actually reverts it back and um that, that's it doesn't consider it as personal files they may change this in the final but in windows 8 that's basically what it saw as personal files is documents music pictures things of that nature in those folders specifically in those folders remove everything it just basically is like a um, complete re reset to the whole thing so it's back to square one and um, sometimes you got to do that I've, I've done it with Windows 8 a few times but um, it, it basically resets everything back to square one and um, and yeah but let's uh, go to this to show you that this actually really does reset the or or uh, restart the entire computer back into when it's done and, uh, and when you click that so as far as that goes if you do have any questions feel free to leave them down there in the comment section and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible and if you have any comments that you want to add or anything else feel free to leave that in the comment section too now if you like this please leave a like subscribe share if you don't like this go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so i can fix it in future videos but no matter what please feel free to check out my other videos and follow us on twitter so you can see when new videos come out since youtube doesn't really alert all the time but again my name is craig bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snow, and hope you have a great day.